Thomas Sankara, born on December 21, 1949, in Yako, French Upper Volta, now Burkina Faso, was a charismatic and influential African leader. His brief but impactful tenure as the president of Burkina Faso from 1983 to 1987 left an indelible mark on the nation and the continent. Sankara's commitment to social justice, anti-imperialism, and self-reliance made him a symbol of hope for many in Africa and beyond. We delve into the life and accomplishments of Thomas Sankara, a revolutionary leader who sought to transform Burkina Faso and inspire change throughout the world. Thomas Isidore Noel Sankara was born into a lower middle class family in the northern region of Upper Volta. With a passion for learning, he pursued his education, attending primary and secondary schools in Upper Volta and later enrolling at the Centre d'Enseignement Secondaire de Tenkadogo. It was during this time that Sankara developed an interest in politics and social activism. Sankara's political journey began in the early 1970s when he joined the military academy in Kadiogo, Ouagadougou. It was there that he met Blaise Compare, who would later become a key figure in his life. Sankara's charisma, intelligence, and outspoken nature quickly caught the attention of his peers and superiors. In 1983, Sankara and a group of fellow officers staged a successful coup against the ruling government. At the age of 33, he assumed the presidency and renamed the country Burkina Faso, meaning, land of the upright people. Sankara's presidency marked a turning point for the nation and the beginning of a transformative era. Thomas Sankara's presidency was defined by his visionary leadership and commitment to progressive reforms. He aimed to create a self-reliant and egalitarian society and sought to eradicate corruption, poverty, and dependence on foreign powers. Sankara implemented a series of bold policies and initiatives, addressing issues such as land redistribution, gender equality, and education. His government launched a nationwide campaign to improve healthcare and education, focusing on vaccination programs, literacy campaigns, and the construction of schools and medical centers in rural areas. Sankara himself led by example, adopting a modest lifestyle and encouraging government officials to do the same. Sankara's commitment to women's rights was evident in his efforts to promote gender equality. He appointed women to key positions in government, launched initiatives to combat female genital mutilation and forced marriages, and encouraged women's active participation in society. Thomas Sankara was a vocal advocate for Africa's liberation and the rights of the oppressed. He criticized the neo-colonial influences of Western powers and actively supported anti-imperialist movements across the continent. Sankara denounced foreign debt, calling it a form of economic enslavement, and urged African nations to break free from the shackles of dependency. His impactful speeches at international forums, such as the United Nations, resonated with many and earned him a reputation as a prominent voice for African self-determination. Sankara's uncompromising stance on independence and sovereignty made him both admired and feared in the eyes of Western powers. Despite his popularity and achievements, Thomas Sankara's presidency came to an abrupt and tragic end. On October 15, 1987, a group of armed assailants stormed the presidential palace, resulting in Sankara's assassination. His close associate, Blaise Compare, assumed power and went on to lead Burkina Faso for the next 27 years. Thomas Sankara, a visionary and charismatic leader, left an indelible mark on the history of Burkina Faso and the continent of Africa. His commitment to social justice, anti-imperialism, and self-reliance resonated with many, inspiring hope and change. Sankara's presidency, although brief, witnessed transformative reforms and a steadfast dedication to improving the lives of Burkina Faso citizens. While his tragic assassination cut short his life and presidency, Thomas Sankara's legacy lives on. His ideas and principles continue to inspire generations of activists and leaders, as the pursuit of social justice and self-determination remains a central tenet in the ongoing quest for a better Burkina Faso and a more just Africa. Thomas Sankara, the charismatic and visionary leader of Burkina Faso, met a tragic end that shook the nation and reverberated across the globe. His pursuit of social justice, anti-imperialism, and self-reliance made him a symbol of hope for many in Africa and beyond. However, on October 15, 1987, Sankara's life was cut short in a series of events that remain shrouded in mystery. In this video, we delve into the web of intrigue and explore the potential culprits behind the murders that ended the life of one of Africa's most iconic figures. 
Before delving into the details of his demise, it is crucial to understand the impact and influence Thomas Sankara had during his tenure as president of Burkina Faso. Sankara's rise to power in 1983 marked a turning point for the country, as he implemented sweeping reforms aimed at empowering the marginalized and eradicating corruption. His policies, which included land redistribution, gender equality, and mass education campaigns, garnered both admiration and opposition from various quarters. On that fateful day in October 1987, a group of armed assailants stormed the presidential palace in Ouagadougou, leading to a sequence of events that resulted in Sankara's tragic demise. The full extent of the conspiracy and the identities of those involved have been the subject of intense speculation over the years. At the center of the web of intrigue surrounding Sankara's murder is his close associate and friend, Blaise Compare. Compare, who served as Sankara's deputy, emerged as the leader of the country following the coup that ended Sankara's presidency. The relationship between the two men was complex, and while Compare publicly mourned the loss of his friend, questions arose about his involvement in the events leading to Sankara's death. The international community and foreign powers had a vested interest in the political landscape of Burkina Faso, and this factor cannot be overlooked when examining Sankara's assassination. The Cold War context, with rivalries between global powers playing out in Africa, added another layer of complexity to the situation. Some speculate that external forces seeking to maintain the status quo or protect their interests in the region may have played a role in destabilizing Sankara's regime. In the aftermath of Sankara's death, calls for justice reverberated throughout Burkina Faso and beyond. However, uncovering the truth and holding those responsible accountable proved to be a challenging task. Political obstacles, power dynamics, and the passage of time hindered the progress of investigations. Nevertheless, the quest for justice continues, fueled by the enduring legacy of Thomas Sankara and the desire to shed light on the circumstances surrounding his murder. There are several possible motives for Sankara's assassination. One possibility is that he was seen as a threat to the interests of foreign powers, particularly France, which had a long history of involvement in Burkina Faso. Another possibility is that he was eliminated by his comrades, who feared his growing popularity and power. Whatever the motives, Sankara's assassination was a major blow to the progressive movement in Africa. He was a symbol of hope and change for many people, and his death left a void that has yet to be filled. In 2015, Compare was overthrown in a popular uprising. He fled the country and is currently living in exile. In 2019, he was indicted by a court in Burkina Faso on charges of complicity in Sankara's assassination. The assassination of Thomas Sankara remains a controversial and unresolved issue. However, there is no doubt that he was a significant figure in African history, and his legacy continues to inspire people around the world. The assassination of Thomas Sankara continues to cast a shadow over Burkina Faso and the legacy of his visionary leadership. Decades after his death, questions remain unanswered, and justice has yet to be fully served. However, Sankara's ideas and ideals live on, inspiring countless individuals who continue to fight for social justice, equality, and self-reliance. His tragic end serves as a reminder of the enduring struggle for justice and the importance of preserving his memory. As Burkina Faso and the world strive for a more just and equitable future, may the truth behind Sankara's assassination eventually come to light, and may his legacy continue to inspire generations to come. The death of Thomas Sankara remains an unresolved chapter in Burkina Faso's history. His assassination not only ended the life of a charismatic leader but also left a void in the hearts of those who believed in his vision for a better Burkina Faso and a more just Africa. While the exact culprits behind the murders may never be definitively identified, the pursuit of justice and the preservation of Sankara's legacy serve as reminders of the enduring impact he had on the nation and the continent. As we reflect on the tragic events that unfolded on that October day, let us remember Thomas Sankara's unwavering commitment to social justice, equality, and self-reliance. May his memory continue to inspire generations to come, and may the pursuit of truth and justice prevail in the quest to unravel the mysteries behind his untimely death. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling adventure, don't forget to show us some love by liking and sharing our videos. Thank you for watching.